Hello guys and gals and welcome to Deep Web Exploration. Now, I said I was going to do the series weekly, and I am, and what the series will consist of is me just browsing the internet that we cannot normally access. Now, once again, I want to state, um, I'm going to be censoring stuff, obviously, if it's, you know, grotesquely violent. I'll still be visiting the site, but, you know, if something is really, really bad, I may not show you what it is. Or if I do, it's going to be heavily blurred out, but... And that's for obvious reasons, too. I'm not going to go into any, like, really, really, really dark shit. But I'll be hitting the dark side. Don't worry. Um, as far as uh, a disclaimer goes, I know a lot of people are kind of worried about me showing this stuff to people. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. All right? Um, you, you can do it later. But if you don't know what you're doing, I highly suggest you... Learn about it a little more. There's some nice places on the internet you can go to to get more information about what the deep web is. Um, a little, you know, scary fact is, you know, some sites, for the most part, it is harmless. Like, it's just like the normal internet. But because of the latently dark nature of it, there are people behind it that, you know, may be able, may try to track down, may do something of the sort. Um... It, and if you don't know what you're doing, you might up and you might end up in places you really shouldn't be in, ever. And there are there are some there there are negatives to it is what I'm trying to say here. But I'm not I'm not try, I don't want to scare anyone off from doing it. Um, it it is educational. Do it if you want to. Totally go for it. But if you don't know what you're doing, I highly suggest you read up on it. Um, if you want me to cover it more in depth in another video, uh, just ask me in the comments below. And if, you know, there's enough requests, I'll actually teach you guys what it is entirely um, before you guys decide to go into it. Because, you know, you guys and gals need to be very careful when doing this kind of stuff. But that being said, I'm not here to go on some soapbox. I'm here to go on some deep web. You know what I'm saying? And that being said, we'll go to our very first website. So, these are our uh, two sites right here that uh, serve in the sales of the Marijuanas, and apparently they sell God knows what here, so we're actually going to go through it. This is Ucana, which is the first class of the European Union, and over here is Smokables, which is the US version of it. We're going to see which one's better, the European Union or us here in the uh, land of USA. So first off, we got Medical Grade Cannabis Buds. Uh, medicinal value. Okay, we stock high quality hydroponic and organic cannabis. We are experienced professional cannabis growers who place emphasis on the medicinal value rather than the quantity we produce. This is why you will frequently see strains listed with 50 50 indica sativa ratio, as these race strains are best for making the Rick Simpson oil. I don't know what the fuck we're going on here, but apparently you can get white Russian and chronic for about 42 euros. 147 euros, man. That's some good dank right there. We're going to go into the, okay, I think the buds is this. Let's see what the hell they sell in oil, man. What the fuck? And they got some special offers, dudes. They got the steam sales for the Kush. All right, here's the USA version while that's loading. This is original OG Kush. All right, this is what Snoop Dogg probably smokes. We only grow in soil with organic nutrients. Uh, five ounces, 800 bucks. Well, that's, uh, ooh, man. You can buy that anytime soon. Organic grown original haze. That's original, man. And let's see the products. And we only sell like two things. If so, man, that's pretty bad. Rick Simpson oil. This is the highest quality oil right here. We recommend you ingest the oil to gain maximum benefits by ingesting the raw burn THC. Dude, this shit will fuck you up, man. Why? They have suppositories? Dude, I ain't gonna stick it out my butt. What are you talking about, man? Here, hold on. Let me see this. Did, did they have, like, anything over here? Wait, what is this? For psoriasis, treatment may require several days where the symptoms actually worsen initially, but don't worry, this is a sign of healing. All right. Um, Rick Simpson ointment is ideal for treating serious medical conditions, but for serious medical conditions such as skin cancer, you should ingest the oil. Dude, go to a fucking doctor, bro. God. You fucking pl bath melts. What? What the fuck is this shit, dude? What is this? We heard of a case where a ten-year-old child simply could not ingest the raw oil. The child had received a nasty, unsafe vaccine and was left with stunted growth in mind, visually paralyzed. Okay, but being able to administer with these in the anus, the child now only suffers mild seizures and milder effects in other areas. All right, so if you can't take the oil, you can't stick it up your ass and get healed that way. 
bath melts contain less than 0.01 ml RSO and leaves your skin feeling soft and rejuvenated. And it also fucks you up, dude. Special offers. Oh man, they got a they got a sampler set. You know, a sampler set. You know when you go to a restaurant, they have like the fucking sampler platter or some bullshit like that? Well, you got it over here. And it comes with one 50 milliliter cream, one 30 milliliter ointment, one 20 gram soap, and four bath melts. What is the edibles? What does the creams do, man? This is some weird ass shit. I'm, I'm highly doubting, man, this would anywhere be close to legalized. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, dude, they're selling pot brownies. Jamie Oliver. <laughs> oh, man, dude, if Jamie Oliver could see this. All right, our chef got in the kitchen today and whipped up a Jamie Oliver recipe for brownies, and he sure knows what he is doing. There are some really tasty brownies. Wow, but please be warned, they are seriously strong. Please be careful, we really mean this, and our product reviews are always honest. And as those of you who have already or already ordered our Agent Orange, which we gave a 6.5 out of 10, yes, this potency label applies to experienced users as well. Seriously, this is not just a sales pitch. Don't say we didn't warn you. Wow, um, they are really hyping this up. What happens if you, like, hit the buy now section? Like, where does it take you? I've never actually tried that. Oh, you actually have to put up a site and everything, too. Um, I'm just gonna back out of that, dude. Let's see the smokable side. They only sell, like, two things, which, for, like, 200 to 800 bucks, I highly doubt they're getting the crazy-ass sales they expect. Um, oh, I love how, like, everything is the same, too, and shipping is always $5. Don't matter where the fuck you are, always $5, dude. I'm pretty sure that gets decided later on. Uh, these people sell passports, all right, like legalized shit. So after buying an ID or passport, send us a message with your age and gender so we can find a matching data set. Alternatively, you can provide a data set, name, age, gender, size. We also need a biometric photo and high quality and signature scan. We'll give you more instructions after your purchase. Seems like you're into more trouble than it's worth. Now over here it says you can get a Lithuanian passport, Netherlands passport, Denmark passport, Great Britain passport, and a Canada passport. And each of these costs like 2,000 to 500 euros, 2,000, 2,500 euros to about 4,000 euros if you got a fucking Britain one. Jesus. And then you can get like ID cards. You can get like a Czech ID card, Netherlands, Denmark, French, and Lithuanian. Holy shit, these are actually like really legit looking. I, I'm, wow, what the fuck? You can get like driver's licenses for like the UK, Netherlands. Oh, so the US ones were cheaper. They're like 200, but these are probably like the real fucking deal that they make, dude. That guy's even wearing gloves, too, so you know it's, like, a legit thing. And here's Euro Guns again. This is, like, an extension of the sites we were in last time, so, like, we can connect to this before, but here we are. These guys sell the Walther PPK, 7.65 caliber, 600 euros, and the ammo's, like, 400. Holy shit, you can get a Desert Eagle? What the fuck? 1,200 euros, man. That's some good shit. New and unused. You can get a six sour. Jeez, these are all like reminding me of the CS man. All right, products. They only sell like three things. Dude, whatever. You guys hype yourselves up. You guys suck, dude. Thought you guys aren't even as good as the last gun shop we found. That guy was selling some premium Russian shit, dude. Oh, right, what is this? Buying bitcoins to make? Oh, so they all they all literally have the same thing except here the shipping is free. So you know, I guess it's a good thing, right? I mean, you're saving money. It may cost you a thousand dollars to get the gun, but at least your shipping is free. Now, whether the shipping gets caught, that's that's not on you, buddy. You're fucked. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the Intel Exchange. Now, the most, uh, that is uh, the information that has been sort of seen for me on this site is that uh, it actually exchanges information um, based on, like, it exchanges a lot of, like, crucial sort of dark information, I guess, that's spy sharing stuff amongst each other. Like, as you can see over here, we got, like, hardware, software, hacking, programming. Oh, shit, let's look at that. Then we got, like, mechanics, motion to fun, physical, mental health, value to exchange. Oh, okay. That's, like, the art of earning and spending money. It might be money. The conspiracy, organized corruption, all the lies. Whoa, what? Dude, this better not be some fake shit. The 13 laws of the Brotherhood of Satan exposed. What? Oh, dude, what is this? The... Ancestors of our dark craft should always be remembered, for they guide and protect us from the shadows. It's like some... Always honor and respect another of the brotherhood, regardless of... We are the true daughters and son of Satan's family, together and united in the darkness. This has got to be something fucking creepy, dude. The four black sabbaths. 
Attend the traditional satanic black mass once a year to have communion with Satanist and his demon. This. Well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back the fuck out of that there. Uh, let's go back into the conspiracy. That's fucking interesting. We came across some Satan weird ass shit right there. What is this? XBL? Is this Xbox Live or something? Oh, uh, by means of free Xbox Live goal, all I found is BS. Oh, wow, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's trying to get free Xbox Live on tour. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Um, is tour the only way to connect to the deep web? Unlocking iPhone 6. All right, these are just simple stuff. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, what is an engine? The Litecoin mining. All right. Let me go back to this. Um, are most rich people in on conspiracies? Can really help the world? Reptilians, do aliens exist? Oh my god, I want to go to the reptilians, man. <laughs> the fucking reptilians, dude. All right, what is this? Um... Snake infestation in school, Climate Gate, the fictional network that must not be named. Um, Ebola, manufactured. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> um, Facebook secret mood manipulation experiment. Whoa! I want to open that up. That's that's fucking weird. What is the biggest enemy of the NWO? The Illuminati. Okay, let's click on that. This is fucking interesting. Um, Facebook news beads. All right, this is the fucking Facebook secret mood manipulation experiment. Facebook's news feeds, the main list of status updates, messages, and photos we see when you open Facebook on your computer or phone is not a perfect mirror of the world, but few users expect that Facebook would change their news feed in order to manipulate their emotional state. We now know that's exactly what happened two years ago. For one week in January 2012, data scientists skewed what almost 700,000 Facebook users saw when they logged in into its service. Some people were shown content with a preponderance of happy and positive words. Some were shown content analyzed as sadder than average, and when the week was over, these manipulated users were more likely to post either specifically positive or negative words themselves. The tinkering was just revealed as part of a new study published in the prestigious Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Many previous studies have used Facebook data to examine emotional contagion, as this one did. The study is different because while other studies have observed Facebook user data, this one set out to manipulate it. The experiment is almost certainly legal. In the company's current terms of service, Facebook users relinquish that their data, data analysis, testing, and research is it ethical, though. Some news of the society first emerged. I've seen and heard both privacy advocates and casual users express surprise at the audacity of the experiment. What the fuck? Dude. This is fucking weird, dude. I mean, I ain't, I ain't subscribed, dude. I mean, let's be honest here. But that is... All right, let's go to the Illuminati. Anyone who is interested in the Illuminati and the NWA should probably check out this site, armageddonconspiracies.co.uk. It takes some dedication to read all of their content, but well worth it. I, for one, believe the Illuminati isn't a real group behind this, but simply a front to unite people towards a common enemy. All right, that's cool. You guys obviously need to wear the fedoras and stuff. Alright, do aliens exist? What about supernatural powers? The TV shows Alpha's Heroes, Fringe, and Tomorrow Pe The Tomorrow People. Are we the Tomorrow People? Yeah, we are. The movies, Jumper, Looper, and X-Men, all pertain to some forms of humans having supernatural powers, most commonly teleportation, manipulation of the three-dimensional space around them, and move objects of any size, type, and telepathic powers. Do people exist on this Earth? Do these people have powers? Can you obtain them? Can you learn how to use them like Dragon Ball Z? Or Piccolo learn how to, Piccolo learned how to teleport from Goku, who is a Saiyan who learned it from another race. Do we need radiation or some other form of exposure? What? And do aliens exist? Roswell, real? Oh, what the fuck? Did he really just reference Dragon Ball Z? Aliens are other life, most likely. I don't know if it's true or not, but Gary McKinnon supposedly got into NASA's files and found pictures of aliens. Not sure if it's true, as you never know how credible something truly is. Exactly. However, for supernatural powers, IMO, I don't believe so, unless it's something suppressed by the government that they could achieve by altering a person's brain, DNA, etc. The government is stopping you from superpowers, lads. Confirmed. Reptilians. I heard about the reptilians' conspiracy theory, but I think it's just nonsense. Has there been anything that can really suggest that we're being controlled by a shape-shifting reptilian race? Besides that Hillary Clinton and Justin Bieber videos... Sometimes these sites can just make me lose my shit. I've seen on YouTube. Oh. 
that I really can't believe others believe it. I know, right? It's so stupid. It's bullshit, trust me, look, man. Like, I can believe some conspiracy theories, but not that fucking reptiles are running shit. I'm sorry, that, that can't... That can't be happening. Come on. Reptiles running shit. That's a, that's a crazy ass thing that I hear of. God damn it. Alright, so here we are on the Area 51 archives. So this is kind of some creepy shit. Um, and this might get me fucking shot or something on site. I don't fucking know, dude. But welcome to Area 51 archives. The website is a pro uh, project to preserve knowledge. Area 51 archives contains articles, tutorials, code, programs, and information related to hacking culture. Object of this project is <coughs> excuse me, to serve as a home for files, centralizing as much content as possible, formatting content properly for the web, overall improving the overall quality of information. To serve as a home for files, centralizing as much. All right, and these guys are associated with like Anonymous, Democracy Now, EFF, all like the big people. Um, and what is this network sites? Area Fifty One Archive. Oh, welcome to... Oh, I can't click anything. Welcome to the new home of Area 51 Archives on the deep web. With the rate of freedom hosting servers... Oh, shit. These guys must have been fucking legit, dude. Or they might have been connected to a place where they were, you know, raided, but that's fucking weird. Um, we are now hosted with Liberty Hackers. Um, IRC... Okay, this is the IRC. Let me see if I can connect to the... Actually, no. ITP mail. Um, email. I right, they got the... Thank you for visiting. The Enlightened are no longer alone. So this might be up for a future episode, but these are like Area 51 archives. See, they even got the eyeball there. And this is where, like, shit probably, like, really hits the fucking fan, to be honest. Because if you're unboxing Area 51 shit, that's crazy. Let's do that. I don't want to fucking go into this full fucking screen, by the way. Welcome, Tom Smith. You are logged in. Is that it? That's the Illuminati right there, really? That's it? Well, apparently, ladies and gentlemen, the Illuminati was not as intense and awesome as I once thought it would be. Wait a minute, is this just like some random bullshit they have? They don't even say this anywhere. Alright, these guys are some pretty edgy motherfuckers. These are the Spartans Dark Rift. And man, it's dark in here. It really is. You guys need to change how your site works. So... NASA says winter isn't coming. The NASA Earth Exchange, a big data collection supercomputer that's being used to produce research to benefit collaborative efforts. Um, wow, what the fuck, dude? Um, what is this? EP traced at least 50 aircraft back to FBI. FBI. Oh, wow, this is like some crazy shit. Malicious PNGs. Um, what? Malicious JavaScript? What the fuck? The quieter you become, the more you will hear. Okay, let's see what their downloads have, by the way. Um, sunflower GIF, example of JavaScript, heading in here. Female Arabic names, male Arabic names, Chinese, Quran, to Palestine. Research, NASA, global warming. What the fuck? This can't be real. NASA, what? These guys just fucking with me or something? Whoa. Man, it's getting hot up in here, dude. What the fuck? Let's see the Im oh my god I don't want to click images dude. FBI surveillance airplane, FBI oh my god dude watch if I'm gonna get like fucked okay that's a surveillance airplane right there apparently, and these are flight paths so FBI in the sky it's in San Diego, uh, Baltimore and Washington D.C. Holy fuck these people are I don't know if this is legit or not dude I'm gonna get like shot if I look through this anymore dude fuck that. I'm gonna, what is this, deep crawl? Oh, what is all this? It's like, sites? Oh my god, this is like a little crawler they send that looks for like deep websites. Carding, conspiracy, drugs, counterfeiting Bitcoin. For um chat weaponry, hacking, death, leisure, porn, terrors. What the fuck is all this shit? Is this like the hidden wiki times a thousand? I don't want to click on any of these shit. A lot of them have like terrorism links. Dude. Fuck that, dude. That is some scary ass shit. I think that the feds need to attack something. It's definitely this site. Damn. 
All right, so these uh, four pictures are actually archives of a website called The Human Experiment. We go where few dare. Now, to get to this Onion site, it's kind of an issue right now, considering um, it's not active at the moment, or it switched onions, and it actually doesn't have any links to it. But this is uh, four pictures, an archive of the site. And this was a real site, and it's The Human Experiment. We go where few dare. Home, experiments, about us. Um, recent news, a new batch of test subjects has arrived, will be placed in Warehouse 3. Not all humans are equal, for some of them were born superior to others. This can't be fucking real. Who are we? We are a group of medical personnel. There are three nurses, six medical students, two medical interns, and three medical residents on the team. Experiments are conducted in our spare time if we have any. The warehouses are left unguarded, and the test subjects are confined to their cells unless they are being used in an experiment. Food and water are provided as indicated. Nutritional status is usually irrelevant as one of the test subjects survives long enough. Except the pregnant woman. Oh my fucking god, this is so bad. A new batch of test subjects has arrived. We'll be placed in Warehouse 3. Warehouses. There are four operational warehouses. Each can house, house up to 20 sub test subjects. But we can't accommodate more if we weed the space. Need or weed it. Okay. Warehouse 1, 2, 3, 4. Obviously I can't click on them because it's archived. Let's see. Um, Alright, so welcome to a website. In this website, we... Okay, this is like the uh, main page area. That was an About Us section. So in this website, we attempt to illustrate several experiments that are being conducted by our group on human subjects. The people chosen for this range of experiments are usually homeless people that are unregistered citizens. Experimentations range from starvation and water fluid restriction, vivisection pain tolerances, infectious diseases and organ effects, transfusions, drug trials, sterilization... Neonate and infant tolerances to x-rays. Oh, God. Laboratory experimentations, full blood counts, urinalysis, chemistries, etc. are done at hospitals where we take the samples and send them under our under real patient names. The results are carefully dispersed so as not to arouse suspicion. The bodies of the dead are dissected and then disposed off in dumpsters or meat shops. Where the, oh, my fucking God. That is so fucking nasty. No IRB approval was sought for the secret range of experimentation. The high command oversees all operations and designates potential targets. The names of the test subjects will be kept confidential. Only their serial numbers will be displayed. This can't be fucking real, man. A warehouse 1, current experimentation, bleach and photos. Oh, no. 17-year-old female, no known past surgery, bleach tolerance, 5 milliliters daily. Oh. Oh, God, this is so fucked up. In the third warehouse, this is the last of the ones, current experimentation, cold tolerance test. Attempt number nine, four, oh. Oh, is this how many times it would each of the subjects until they died? This person was tried nine times. Water temperature is 4.2 degrees. Okay, body temperature when removed from the water. And they got this from the uh, rectal side, 26.7 degrees. Body temperature, dead. The length of time in water, 71 seconds, 71 to death. This guy was 79 seconds. I think he was pulled out of the water, and then he just died very slowly. This person lasted a couple seconds. This person lasted like 40-something seconds. After 14 times, 21 times, this person was only in there for a minute, but lasted... Oh, my God. Oh, this is a fucked up... This can't be real, man. This there, There's got to be... Who would fucking joke about this, though? Oh. Oh. Fuck. You know, considering the site's not active, it may be beneficial to assume that these people don't do what they do. But if they do what they do, and they're so good at it, it's not like they're going to stop. Now, there's two outcomes to this. Considering, A, we're on the deep web, we can't track these people down. Or as effectively as we may think. So they can do whatever the fuck they want. Now... A, this could either be a hoax, which I'm really praying it is, or two, it could be real. And, do they even list where the fuck this is at, though? Let me see, where the fuck is this at again? No, they don't list, they don't list any, like, base location, so it could happen anywhere, I assume. They say I'm registered citizen, so it's like, I don't know where it's at, is it U.S. or Canada? Or like Russia or wherever. So if these people exist, 
And like I said, they carefully subject, uh, you know, carefully like examined for their target. <sighs> you could be fucking next, dude. I mean, if these people are real, this could just be a hoax. I mean, this is a popular destination of the deep web, but it's not active anymore. Maybe it's active under another name. I don't fucking know. That is some creepy ass shit, dude. Oh my fucking god. Now, before I end this uh, video, I actually managed to find a new archive website that goes to fucking infinity and beyond. A lot of these are drug websites. One of the sites actually lists itself as the boss of the deep web, the hacker store, antagonism.org, banking techies. What is this? Uh, escrow something. Free Fire. They got some fucking uh, leak websites. Um, apparently over in here they got the Area 51 archives, which we'll see if those work. I'll cover that in another video if it actually works over here. But they got access to Area 51 stuff. Church of the Snow Leopard. What is all this shit, man? Secure overlay networks. Open mic, automated, oh my lord, dude, this is something crazy here. Welcome to Atlantis, where we'll find that up, weriseup.net, Hell Online, Area 51, another Area 51 website. Let me just uh, open some of these up. They got like tour relays, they got a whole bunch of stuff, man, holy crap. This stuff goes down to infinity, and I found a couple other sites like this. The next time we end one of those uh, onion sites don't work either, but you know maybe they might become active or not, or they're active sometimes in the day. We'll have to see, but regardless, I'm going to have to end this uh, video over here. I feel really spooked after reading that whole human experimentation site. I know it's most definitely fake, but some of the stuff was uh, too real, man. Uh, they really knew what they were talking about, so... Who knows, maybe it could be fake, maybe it couldn't be, but that is a deep web today. A lot of it has been drug sites, a lot of it um, you know, has been finding the, in the Intel network. Man, that was crazy. We joined the Illuminati, and we discovered some of Satan's rules, and we found a site that shows FBI flight paths, for fuck's sake. And um, next video, next time, we'll actually try to get some videos off the deep web. You know, some scary, spooky, like, grainy shit. And I'll try to show you as much as I can out of there. Uh, for now, it was just another dip into the deep web. And next time, you know, we're just going to go straight up crazy into it. But yeah. And as you can see, my whole shit has like stopped responding really. It's like dying, I guess. I don't know why. Uh, mar marijuana dispensary. That being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. I know for uh, I know some of it has been sort of rehashed, you know, um, more drug sites. Um, we didn't really look at a hitman site this time, but we looked at a fucking human experimentation site and a site that sends intel to people on federal databases. Um, I might get fucking, you know, like assassinated at one point during this series. So, you know, if you see a fucking, if I stop posting, man, you know why. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.